video, I am going to be showing you a very, very exciting Disney princess look. She's a fan favourite. She is Ariel from The Little Mermaid. I've transformed myself from Mark, a boy, to The Little Mermaid, Ariel. voice is amazing and the movie I love The Little Mermaid. I hope that you enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, I'm starting off with no makeup on whatsoever. I'm first going to be putting on some blue circle lenses because Ariel's got really bright blue eyes. Okay, now I've put on my blue contacts and I've done one eye already. I'm first going to be filling in my eyebrows. I'm going to slightly put a cream base first on the eyebrows. I'm using the Claire's Jumbo Pencil in red. It doesn't have to be super, super neat, but we do need to set that with a red eyeshadow. And I'm going to be using Love Plus from Sugar Pill. Going over my eyebrows with this, because Ariel does have red hair. So, you want to fill in your eyebrows with red. And then I'm going to be using my OCC Skin Conceal in Y1 and carve out the eyebrows so that it's really clean and sharp. Blend that out with your ring finger. And then I'm going to be taking my Danny 15 eyeshadow palette and taking this mid-tone brown shade. This is going to be my transitional colour and I'm just using a blending brush just to blend this through the crease. And then I'm going to be using this red tone brown to warm the crease up and also to incorporate the red shade into the eyeshadow colours. I don't want a stark red like the eyebrows, I just want a little bit of a red undertone in the eyeshadow. With my Elamasca liner brush, which is the best liner brush, I'm just going to take the black from the eyeshadow palette. This is from bornprettystore.com, by the way. I'll leave a link in the description, but I hope they still have it. I'm carving out my crease with this, creating a cut crease look, and winging it out on the outer corner. I'm just blending this crease colour into the red tone brown a little bit. I'm going to take a concealer brush and the... OCC Skin Conceal in Y1 and I'm going to be applying this as a base all over the lid. This is going to make the cut crease just so much more defined and this will make the bright eyeshadow colours more vibrant. For the colourful eyeshadows I'm going to be using my MUA Poptastic palette and I'm taking this bluey purple shade which is the colour of Ariel's top. I'm applying that to the outer half and just patting that through. And then for the inner half of the lid, I'm applying this bluey teal green. And this is sort of like Ariel's tail. Patting a little bit of this green colour as well on top. Blend the two together by patting in between. I'm also applying that right into the inner corners of the eyes on the bottom. In the waterline, I'm going to be applying my Rimmel Nude Cold Kajal. And this is going to make your eyes look bigger. Because Ariel's eyes are huge. And then I'm going to be using my liquid liner from NYC and just line the eyes. And if your eyeliner isn't perfect, here's a trick. So get a concealer brush or something and get your concealer. Etch out your winged liner, just run it next to the winged liner and it fixes up any mistakes. It makes it super super sharp and then you just want to blend it down. I'm going to go back now into the neutral eyeshadow palette and take the black and smoke the lower lash line out with this. Just going to the middle. And to blend that out, I'm going to use the red tone brown again, just underneath that a little bit. Oh, again, as well, going back to the eyeliner trick, if you can't get your eyeliner to be sharp, because I know a lot of people, like, struggle to get the eyeliner really sharp, this is a great way to do that, because you can be really sloppy, create a normal winged liner with a blocked 
blunt line and just go over with concealer just to sharpen it up at the end and it looks pretty. Now I'm going to be, now I'm going to be taking my, oh, now I'm going to be taking my Rodeal Glam Lash Skinny Mascara, one of my favourites at the minute, and just apply that onto the lashes. Don't forget to apply loads to the bottom, just so that it opens up your eyes a lot more. And for this look you can't miss lashes, so I'm applying these Aura Lashes in Barbie. For foundation, I'm going to be using a foundation that I don't think I've used in tutorials, but I do actually really love this one. One of the few foundations that I actually like. It's the Dior Air Flash in the shade 300, and I'm going to spray this in the back of my hand. It's like an aerosol foundation. It's really bizarre, but I love this. Basically, you shake this up, and you can spray this directly to your face, but I think it looks a bit too much and it can get into your hair if you're not careful. So I like to spray it on the back of my hand and then apply it with a brush. You know what? I imagine Ariel to be really tan because obviously she's in the water a lot and the sun reflects into the water. So she must be really tan, so I'm gonna be bronzing this skin up. I'm taking my Collection Last Imperfection Concealer in Warm Medium, and just apply that under the eyes. I don't really need much concealer because the airbrush foundation from Dior is really perfecting. And since she's a mermaid, I'm sure she's very, very highlighted and dewy. So I'm going to be applying my Gerard Cosmetics BB Plus Illumination Facial Cream. Apply that to the top of the cheekbones. The bridge of the nose. The cupid's bow. For blush, I'm going to be using Illamasqua Blush in Sophie. And just brush that onto the apples of the cheeks. And just as a soft bronzer, I'm going to be using my NARS Laguna. For the lips, I'm just going to go slightly over them with my foundation brush. And I'm going to be using a red lip lacquer today. This is the Amuse Luxe London Velvet Lip Lacquer in Reckless. It's a cool toned red and it's a matte lip colour. I'm going to be drawing a rounded shape because that's how Ariel has it. It's very cartoony. So now I've just put on a makeshift mermaid costume-ish <laughs> and I've got my aerial hair on and I'm just going to style this wig now. This wig is from divaswigs.com and I will leave a link in the description bar if you're interested in this wig. They've got a huge selection of natural and synthetic wigs. And this wig looks incredible because it's a lace front as well. This is so much fun. I love it. I love the final outcome of this look. I just feel like Little Mermaid right now. I mean, I've got to make a confession to you guys. And y'all are probably going to hate me for saying this. But Ariel is not one of my favourite Disney princesses at all. I mean, I like her voice. And I like the movie. But her morals are lacking. She's rebellious and fun and everything. But... The whole idea of giving up your tail, which is beautiful, and your family, your dad and your sisters, and your whole world, for this man that you've never even talked to, Eric, who is beautiful. The whole idea of giving up everything for a man that you've never talked to is just a little bit stupid. And I know it's a cartoon, but these fairy tales are supposed to teach kids a lesson, and rebelling against your dad and your family like that and going to the sea witch, I think it's... I'm just... <laughs> That's what I've got to say about the situation. These Disney princess looks are so much fun to do. Leave me your suggestions down below of which you want me to do next. I want to do Pocahontas and Mulan for sure and I think a lot of you want Belle as well. And anyway guys, this has been Mark, the Prince of Annecy as Ariel from The Little Mermaid. And subscribe, god damn it. Bye guys.